Hi, I'm here today to bring you the latest fashion tech news that you need to know. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly, then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this news every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up, MIT scientists use autonomous knitting to create soft assistive robotic wearables. New Act uses an autonomous machine knitting process to design and digitally fabricate soft pneumatic actuators. New Act uses a machine knitting process, not dissimilar to your grandma's plastic needle knitting, except that the machine operates autonomously. The knitted devices use conductive yarn for sensing, allowing them to feel and respond to what they touch. For example, the team used the actuators to build a robot that sensed when it was touched specifically by human hands, and reacted to that touch. The actuators could also be scaled up to make a wearable robotic exoskeleton controlled by computer. News source, Design Boom, Buy Now, Pay Later is driving Gen Z into debt. Buy Now, Pay Later payment options like Klarna, Affirm and Afterpay are increasingly popping up on e-commerce sites and in influencer SpunCon. But while these point-of-sale loans are exploding in popularity, they're also driving Gen Z into debt. Surveys indicate that 43% of Gen Z users have missed at least one payment, with some providers charging up to 30% APR on loans. Joshua Boat details the growing crisis for SFGate. News source, SFGate, Snapchat might finally crack virtual shopping. Though many brands have already started experimenting with VR technology to move products, no one has managed to quite crack the key to virtual shopping. Business of Fashion's Alexander Mundalik stopped by Snapchat's offices to try out their new VR technology, and shares why she believes the app may be the closest to making virtual shopping a popular reality. News source, Business of Fashion, why brand.eth is the new brand.com. Public Ethereum wallet names are similar to email addresses and Instagram handles. As brands approach Web 3.0, they should be thinking about owning their presence in the metaverse. News source, Vogue Business, at the vanguard of footwear design, the Savannah College of Art and Design launches the first ever sneaker design minor. Based on student interest and alumni success in the industry, the minor is designed to further enhance professional credentials and propel graduates to the top of the growing, lucrative field. Their focus is on new courses specifically created to amplify innovative and sustainable design and manufacturing practices. The minor includes five courses designed to develop students' knowledge and design skills in sketching, rendering, concept development, digital prototyping and branding for luxury and high-performance sneakers. Students complete the minor with a professional quality portfolio that includes both physical and digital prototypes of original sneaker designs. Finally. Schools are catching on to the new trends. News source, Fashionista, and that's it for today. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week, check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360 Fashion. Knit podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode.